Kiro 107. First program, Object Avoidance. Hello and welcome to another Kiro tutorial video. In this tutorial we will create our first program. Objective. Create a program that avoids obstacles. To achieve this we need two IR sensors, one left and one right, and two motors to move the vehicle. Each sensor will send a signal notifying the robot that an obstacle has been detected on the corresponding direction. The robot will then decide to change direction in order to avoid it. Set up robot configuration. Let's start by assigning the two motors and two sensors on ports through the simulator. The same ports should be used with your real robot. Alternatively, you can load a robot from NVRO which will configure the ports accordingly to the selected robot, but make sure your real robot uses the same ports. Select a robot and a map that matches your program needs. Create the program. Let's start programming. The program should work by applying four rules. One, while none of the senses detect any obstacle. The robot should keep moving forward. Two, while only the left sensor detects an obstacle. Then the robot should be turning right. Three, while only the right sensor detects an obstacle. Then the robot should be turning left. Four, while both of the senses detect an obstacle. Then the robot should be turning to any direction. Let's say left for this example. Test in NVRO. We can test our program to make sure the program works as required. Given that you have already selected and loaded your robot, all you have to do is click play and observe the results. You can enable visual and text feedback in order to get live information from the simulation. Send program to device. Now that we are happy with the results, we are ready to send it to the real robot. Connect the engine air controller with your computer using a USB cable, and click connect. When it is connected, click send and wait until it is finished. After it is finished press play and observe the results. If you keep your robot connected to the computer while playing, live readings from each component will be displayed in the lower screen of the simulator. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Bye bye for now.